Hey, what's going on guys? It's Andrew Cartwright here and welcome to the show. We got some incredible news to cover today. A lot is going on. We've got, I think it's 119 billion. I'm gonna cover that, how much it is. Extra surplus money that's going out to you guys or that, and there's 350 billion that's out there to get to you guys. What we cover on this channel is stimulus checks, four stimulus check updates, PUA news, SSI, SSDI, stock market news, world news, <laughs> all kinds of stuff happening. Uh, Washington, what's out of coming out of Washington, D.C. and around the country about the economy, stocks, money, things that matter to you. Also, I'm giving away $2,000, which I am dying to give that away. I am going to tell you about that in just a minute after we cover some very interesting news in this. So basically, we've got a lot going on right now. We can't we got to address the elephant in the room. And I'm not talking about this guy, Boris, um, over in uh <laughs> At any rate, look at that hairdo. At any rate, uh, Ukraine calls its reservists and urge citizens to leave Russia immediately. Yep, Putin is pushing forward and it's they've got tanks on railways, which I've seen pictures. Also, we've had all kinds of sanctions that are happening right now in Russia. But right now, um, the UK and Canada and the United States, its allies are... Um, basically uh, have sanctions. And also, Biden is targeting uh, Putin's inner circle. Yep, families of his inner circle. You know what's fascinating though, as much as we want to think how powerful we are, Russia did something pretty amazing, which we were starting to do in America and then we stopped it about a year ago. Russia is pretty independent. They, are, they don't need much. So these sanctions may come off really to Putin, as kind of a joke, going, yeah, okay, so what? We're pretty independent. They've built a pretty strong country being independent. But what could happen over here? We could see as much as 10% inflation if the conflict escalates. Why? Because our energy, we get it from elsewhere, and we could have problems with that. Also, we've got uh, uh, anti Unemployment fraud measures in California face some real scrutiny as many of you have not gotten unemployment as a result of that. Also get more stimulus money using IRS form 6475. I'm going to cover that, how to get more money. The CDC is under fire allegedly withholding uh, COVID-19 data. That could be uh, pretty bad. Also, we've got the U.S. Post, $119 billion surplus in January. The first that they've actually issued and shown they got this money. Here's what the government isn't telling you, how we have $119 billion and what they're planning to do with that money. It's obviously a lot of money as $119 billion. I don't have it. Do you have it? No, we don't have it. That's a lot of money. If you do the math, it's more than enough for stimulus checks for each and every one of us. So what's the plan? If they have a plan at all, we're going to cover that. And the uh, tax time, the exact date you can, uh, your taxes are due, your free refunds for that 2,200, depending on your filing status. And of course, this is cruel and unusual punishment. Thousands are waiting an answer on their unemployment. So find out in this video uh, what they're planning to do with 119 surplus, more stimulus. Well, we'll see when a bunch of $2,200 are going out and why thousands, thousands are still waiting for PUA waivers and what the waivers do. We're going to cover that. You're not going to want to miss this. The best stories are always saved for last. I'm Andrew Cartwright. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. It's hump day, the middle of the week. I don't know. These days I work every day, so I don't know where the middle is. I don't know where the end is, and I don't know where the beginning is. I just, every day is a work day, pretty much. Here's your stimulus check for stimulus check for Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. My goal is to give you access to government money as well as private money for yourself, loved ones, and your business to help you with your financial life. 
It's why I built a business program, why I have the second channel that has entrepreneurs I sit down with you and talk about how to make money, how to borrow money. All those things are covered on my second channel. This is just how to get money if you're in a hole and you're trying to dig yourself out. The second channel is about how to make more money and how to invest money. Also, as a reminder, I'm giving away $2,000. All you gotta do, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and throw a comment. We're gonna pick a random comment and we're gonna launch out $2,000 to a lucky winner when we hit 200,000 subscribers, which if you look, we are dangerously close to that. So help us get there, join the family, and also, we're gonna cover to make sure you get your money and how to generate money here on this channel. Also, check out my Transform Your Life with my real estate program, only $99. Uh, we've had lots of people request that I keep it at $99 and not raise the price because I was going to. Well, we'll keep it there for just a little bit longer. $40,000 in professional education I spent on this course and also $45 million dollars in mistakes. You don't have to make those mistakes for $99, it's yours. Um, I should do an hour and a half long video that explains to you what you get, but there are two videos in, in the description that are free that you can watch. If you like it, go ahead and watch the rest of it for just $99. Also, thanks to my Patreons who support the channel for three bucks. They get articles, they get all kinds of extra stuff that are only available to them. And in the description is no catch, Stocks, you can get free stocks and crypto. So don't miss out on those freebies in the description. Also loans up to $5 million, 12 programs. You can be, uh, pre you can be approved in fifth, up to 15 minutes and get your money uh, if you're approved in 24 hours. So make sure you check out those 12 programs up to $5 million. But first, the US disclosed that it has $119 billion surplus just a month, last month. So last month, which is the first time in over two years, they've kind of broke it out and said, hey, here's what we got. It was $83 billion, which was reported September of 2019, and the largest since $160 billion in April of 2019. April and September are traditionally months with high tax collections, right? Those two months. You got tax time in April and we got tax time in September. So those are generally times we have extra money. For the first four months of 2022 fiscal year that started October 1st, the Treasury reported a deficit of $259 billion, a 65% decline from the year earlier's deficit. So we had a deficit. Obviously, we weren't collecting taxes. We were giving money out. It just makes plain sense, right? Earlier this year, we had a deficit of $736 billion. Year to date, though, from year last year to today's date, receipts grew 28%. That is $1.52 trillion that they've raked in from the public while outlaying a period of 8% of $1.78 trillion. That's a lot of money they've collected from corporations and from people, right? One point, that's a lot. So what does this mean and why should you care? What? So what? They, got, they collected a ton of money from us not new news, and they haven't given it back to us yet. So that, why should you care? Well, here's why you should care. States like California are actually quite a few others are experiencing huge surpluses as well. And they all are talking about how to spend that money. A few of them have even enacted more stimulus payments, especially as you know, and I've covered on this channel, California. Many states are doing UBI programs. I've covered in my 50 state video. That, as well as we got a lot of homeowner uh, uh, mortgage assistance and renter assistance for renters. With a nationwide deficit, like we've talked about, and stimulus checks being an ongoing thing, the pressure is mounting on Congress to make a decision on that four stimulus check, especially since it's been talked about. They know they've got pressure. They know it's the elephant in the room. And there are a lot of people that are still struggling from 20 months of shutdowns, regardless of what the jobs report says. The money is there. So at the very least, another one-time payment should be what happens, could be what happens as pressure mounts, right? If not, the country could take after the state's initiatives to use UBI pilot programs, which we are seeing launch across the country. Many states have surpluses of that $350 billion that was given to them, entrusted to them to do the right thing with it, so that some states that need stimulus can get it, and some that are doing great that don't need it, why send them a check? 
Y'all just know how much these uh, mean to everybody who are still waiting for checks that are struggling. What are your thoughts on this? I'd love to know about the surpluses while we go on to the next story. Meanwhile, let's talk about what's due this tax refund averaging $2,200 depending on your filing status. New data from the IRS finds that 4.3 million have received tax refunds and return filings of 2022. The IRS said that taxpayers who requested direct deposits can expect to see their refunds in three weeks. If you filed a paper return, you can expect to wait about six or eight weeks for your refund. So, but still, that's not too bad considering all they have had to done, they had to do. The IRS also noted that filing during the peak of tax season usually results, well, in longer tax time waiting for that money, right? So get it done as soon as possible. Taxpayers are urging e-filers with tax returns as soon as they receive all the tax documents such as W-2s, 1099s, and mortgage and student loan interest statements to get all those in. So grab all those, make sure you got them. Individual tax returns are typically due April 15th. By this, t- by this year, it's also the date where, you know, Emancipation Day for Washington, D.C. Uh, will be observed. So that's amazing. Uh, Emancipation Day, which is the public holiday in D.C. that falls on the weekend this year. So it will be observed on a weekday closest to the actual date of April 16th. I don't know why, you know, hey, it's a pretty big day. Government offices will be closed, though. So due to that date, the filing individual tax returns, uh, tax payments are Monday, uh, April 18th, they pushed it. So kind of good for us, gives us a little time. So the best rule of thumb is to file your taxes as soon as possible if you got money coming. That way you can expect your return to matter in a matter of weeks. If you file next month or wait till the last minute, you could wait quite a long time. And finally, thousands are waiting for an answer to the unemployment overdue overpayment waivers, especially California and lots of other states that through a technicality, Uh, said that they uh, weren't qualified, but after paying them, no fraud or anything, but just paid them. And now they're dealing with those waivers not being waived. State officials have processed roughly 16% of the uh, appropriately 155,000 submissions of those applications in Ohio, trying to avoid paying back uh, unemployment benefits to states saying they're overpaid, um, overpaid during the pandemic. This means of just over 25,000 overpayment waivers completed, roughly 13,000 were approved, um, waiving 72.1 million in overpayments. The Ohio Department of Job and Family Services denied 7,126 waivers, totaling 67.9 million. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are in your state, what's happening, and the rest of the people are still waiting though in Ohio. Angela Matthews on the administrator of Facebook group for overpayment recipients said, quote, imagine a single money, the single mother that's already stressed and struggling and has to think about this $10,000 overpayment. And you're being told your only relief for the year, which is typically an income tax return, most people is going to be taken, end quote. That's horrible. Beatty said in the state following U.S. Department of Labor guidelines, when deciding whether to approve waivers, the guidelines say repayment can be waived if it wasn't the application's fault and required repayment, quote, would be contrary to the equity and good conscience, end quote. Regardless, people who are experiencing this issue are calling this, quote, cruel and unusual punishment and who could blame them. Who could blame them? They're being left hanging, thousands of them, still don't have an answer. And as always, I'd love to read your thoughts in the stories in the comments below. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Check out the second video where uh, a lady bought a um, spiritual store in Utah and uh, lost it all, but then is rebuilding it now. So check it out in my second channel. The link is in the, uh, when you watch the video, you can see the little link there. Just click it and you'll be able to watch it. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Love you. So yeah. does that give us like a cultural abandonment issue? Oh, for like sure. Like if you, if you had 9 million dads come in <laughs> and then you had 9 million dads leave. I'd have daddy wouldn't, issues. Wouldn't you have daddy issues? <laughs> yeah. I'm I not would. saying you do. I was buying a racetrack for $28 million in Wait, Utah. Wait, was it the Larry H. Miller? Yeah. That literally is 
five minutes from my house. I've done everything right and failed. Yeah. Me, yeah. Yeah. I've done everything right and failed. Yeah. It's not your fault. It's just, it, it's you know, really it's a... So, I do need your autograph. Here, will you sign so, one of these for me? I, we'll get, we'll get to that. <laughs> That's probably what got you back up on your feet. 